All right, hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time joining, my name is Shane and this is the Coding Zoo channel. Our goal to Coding Zoo, as usual, is to help others learn how to program. So if you're learning how to program uh, or just want to learn things about programming, hey, we are here for you. So in today's lesson, we are going to kind of go over a relational database. What is a relational database? So this is the first video in a series of videos where we're going to go over the SQL language and how to manipulate data in a database, in a relational database. This video, we're going to talk to you about what is a database? What is a relational database? So if you are new to that, stick around. We're going to jump right in. Right, hey, so let's get started. First thing first, let's talk about what is a database. Are you familiar with what a database is? So a database is an organized collection of structured information or data, typically stored in an electronic computer system, right? Now, how about you? Do you ever access a database? Well, you may not think you do, but most likely you do. Right. So, so if you use your phone a lot to surf the web or if you have a laptop or desktop computer, you pretty much use databases and you don't even know it. And what do I mean by that? So when you use your laptop or your phone or your desktop to talk to websites, well, if you are saving any information, if you're placing orders, if you are filling out login and information, if you're whatever you're doing that may be saving or storing information. So when you come back to that website, it'll know who you are or have the data you entered before. More than likely, there's some kind of database behind that. So you see, you are using a database, you probably just didn't realize it. Now, what kind of database? Well, there are different types of databases. There's document databases, there's no C SQL, SQL databases, and then there's SQL or relational databases. So we're gonna talk about relational databases today. What is a relational database? Well, relational databases are databases that store that information, store your information into what's called tables. So what is a table? You can think of a table as a structure to store data. It's made up of rows and columns. Think of the columns as defining properties around whatever context you're storing. For example, if I was storing a person, I might have the columns name, age, and hair color. Now, each time I store data around different people, it would get entered into rows. So for example, the first row, might represent one person. The second row would represent a second person, so forth and so forth. A relational database stores your data in what's called tables. Now, each table is related to each other. So you have uh, multiple contexts that are related to each other stored in different tables. So here's one example of what I mean by context, right? So here is a representation of a table in a database. Now this table, I've named it orders. This is the table I might create for like an e-commerce site, right? It's a simple representation of something I might create. So in my orders table, I might have these columns. I might have an order ID. Now order ID is my key. It's how I look up things. It's one of the ways I would look up things by an ID. And, and you've gotten orders, I'm sure, over the internet. you got an order number, you got an order ID right? Also in my orders table, I might have a created by, or I might have a, a, a reference to the, you, the customer. So created by, and in this case, we're going to use the name created by. I also may have an order date. So in this table, in this orders table, I've got an order ID. This is my order ID. Somebody placed an order, you got an ID for it. It's an identifier. I have a created by, this is who created that order, right? And I have an order date. When did they create that order, right? Now, what tells me what is in their order? So the orders table doesn't have that. What tells me that? Well, this is where you kind of get into relational tables. So I have an order table, and next I may have a second table. Let's call it line items. So my order might have line items in it. It may have different products in it, right? Like you've seen the order online. You place an order, you buy one or two items. Well, line items, right? So I may have a line items table. Well, how do I know which line items are related to my order? Well, that's where the order ID comes in. So in my line items table, I might have a line item ID, and that's kind of the primary key. That's the key lookup, or one of the key lookups for that line item. I may have an order ID, and that's a 
relationship ID. That tells me which order that line item belongs to. So that's the relational part. So if my order in the orders table is order ID one, if I go to my line items table, use that relationship and look for order ID one, then I know that all the line items that have order ID one belong to that order. That's where the relationships come in, right? In that line item table, I may have a column for SKU. Well, SKU is just a code that represents the product that I'm buying, right? So I'm ordering a product. So each of my line items are going to have a SKU, a code that represents the product that I'm representing with that line item, the product I'm buying. What else might I, what else might I have in that line item table? Well, I might have a quantity. So I'm buying a particular item, a particular SKU. Let's call it line item one. And, it's, and I'm buying it in the order, order one. And that SKU, well, I may want five of those items. So that's where I might have a quantity column. So I have an orders table, I have order ID one, and it relates to a line items table. And my line items table lets me know what product or products that's in that order. And it also lets me know how much quantity for each of those products I'm going to order. Pretty cool. Right. This is where the relational data takes place, where it happens. Now, what's next? What's not, what's something else I might need to know? Well, I have a SKU, but what does that code do? What is that SKU for? Well, that SKU represents a product. So next, I might have a products table. So again, different sets of data that are related to each other in different tables. So I may have a products table. What kind of products would I have in that? What kind of columns, rather, would I have in that products table? I might have a primary key, the key lookup number B SKU. I know that it's only going to be one SKU for one type of product, right? So my line items in my line items table has a SKU that defines what line item product I'm buying and how many with the quantity, right? Now, how do I know what that SKU is? Well, I go to my products table, I go to that related data in a different table, and I look up that SKU. And that SKU is in the table as a primary key, as a main key for lookup, a main search ID. And then I may have a description associated with that SKU. Perhaps that product is a computer. It's a Dell computer. Perhaps it's a Canon camera, right? And then I might have other properties that represent that pro product. The property might be manufacturer, it's a Dell computer, or it's a Canon, right? So my products table, might have different SKUs for different products. Each product has its own unique SKU. And I have description and manufacturer names of the, each one of those products. So that's how relational data works. I've got three different types of data all related to each other through tables. This is the idea of a relational database. I'm taking groups of data. I'm dividing it up by context. I'm putting them in their own tables. And I'm providing keys to relate each table to each other. The main lookup key in a table for a given record is usually called your primary key. For example, in the orders table, the order ID is your primary key. Now, when I go to the line items table, I could look up a line item by the line item ID, which would be the primary key. But if I wanted to look it up by relation, by its relation to an order, well, I would look it up by what's called a foreign key. The foreign key in line items is the order ID. So I can look up all of the line items for a given order ID. The order ID is a foreign key relationship to the orders table. So you have primary IDs, which are the primary keys for records in your table. And you have foreign keys, which builds that relationship between tables. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, hey, leave me a message below and I'll be sure to get back to you and answer that question. In the next few videos, we're going to actually create a database. We're going to create tables, and I'm going to show you how to manipulate and get data in those tables using the SQL language. So if that's something you're interested in learning and, and learning more about relational databases, we're going to walk through that. We're going to do it together. Click the subscribe, click that bell icon. And I hope to see you again in the future. If you like this video, click like. I would really appreciate it. It helps get the word out. Thank you for watching today. I hope you have a great week and I hope to see you again next time.